Hey, Mia. Mia? Mia! Yeah? What? Hey! Dude, your music is way too loud. You're gonna kill your ears. Music's better loud. Come on, Zoe. Hey, I'm a fan of loud music, too, but it's important to protect your ears. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear music at all, let alone make it. Listen. I'm all ears. Ha ha. But seriously, without our ears, the sounds we hear are really just vibrations. Well, when we listen to music, I can feel the vibration of it sometimes. Yeah, that's what sound waves are. The different parts of the ear work together to interpret the sound waves and send them to the brain so it can tell us what exactly we're hearing. Different parts? Like earlobes? <laughs> well, the earlobes are part of the outer ear. The outer ear is all curvy and windy. Its shape helps funnel sound into the ear canal. The canal is the hole in your ears? That's it. The ear canal leads to your eardrum, the first stop for sound. The eardrum is a membrane inside the ear that vibrates when sound hits it. Like a real drum. Yeah. The eardrum is the gateway to the middle ear. Inside the middle ear are three tiny bones, the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. When sound enters the middle ear, each of these tiny bones vibrate and pass the sound on further into the inner ear. Like a chain reaction? It kind of is. Now the inner ear is a bit more complex, with lots of little passages. Like a maze? A lot like a maze. Deep within that maze is the cochlea. Reaching the cochlea is like reaching the finish line for sounds. The cochlea turns the sound waves into signals that are sent to the brain's hearing center by your nerves. The brain's hearing center? Yep, it's a special place on the outside of the brain. When a sound enters the hearing center, our brain tells us what the sound is and where it's coming from. Ah, oh, yeah, a drum, some guitar, a horn, sounds great. Guess my brain's hearing center is working pretty well. Mine too, and my inner ear is helping out with something else too. Huh? My balance. The inner ear also contains three little canals shaped like semicircles that constantly send messages to the brain, letting it know when you're about to fall or lose your balance. So damaging my ears hurts my hearing and my dancing? Yeah, and neither one of us want that. You already have two left feet. In that case, I'll definitely start watching it when it comes to my ears. Now let's see if I can dance through this. The ears are pretty complex organs, and they help us interpret sound. You can only see the outer ear, but there's a middle and inner part of the ear, too. And all three parts work together to send sound info to the brain for interpretation. Not only do your ears affect your hearing, but your inner ear helps you keep your balance, too. How'd that sound? Mia, that was music to my ears.